exhausted from filming so much. Hello everyone, my name is Dylan and welcome back to a new episode of Running Flat Out. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about the results of the Day 2500 and looking ahead to the, this upcoming weekend at Atlanta. First off, I want to acknowledge the fact that we had the closest finish ever in any NASCAR Touring Series. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the Xfinity race at Daytona the Saturday before the Daytona 500. It came down to Elliot Sadler and Tyler Reddick at the end and... Tyler Reddick ended up getting the victory. Anyways, I just wanted to talk about that for a second or two before I go on to my next topic, which is the Daytona 500. This year was the 60th running of the Daytona 500, and I gotta say, it did not disappoint one bit. Alex Bowman and Denny Hamlin, they started on the front row like I stated last week. Denny and Hamlin ended up taking the lead after a half a lap or a lap, but you had drivers like Eric Jones, Chase Elliott, and I want to say Ryan Blaney in the first stage, all leading laps and in the lead. Towards the end of the stage, Daniel Suarez and Eric Jones and Jimmy Johnson, and among some of the drivers involved in the wreck, ultimately ending their days. Kurt Busch went on to win the stage, so he got 10 stage points plus one playoff point. About halfway into stage two now, Brad Keselowski and Chase Elliott among some, those of you that didn't see last week's episode, Brad Keselowski was my pick to win the race. So what happened was Brad Keselowski got a huge run coming up to the back bumper of the, the, the nine car of Chase Elliott. Uh, Chase Elliott looked low below Ryan Blaney who was the leader at the time and they made contact which sent Elliott spinning up into the wall, outside wall and Brad Keselowski went down and then came back up and hit the outside wall as well with Kevin Harvick. Ryan Blaney went on to win that stage. Not much really happened in the beginning of the stage. You had drivers like Ryan Blaney, Martin Truex Jr. Re leading a, a few or a lot, in Ryan Blaney's case, a lot. I believe he led like a hundred something laps. Uh, Martin Truex Jr., he didn't really lead that much because he stayed out. Coming to about somewhere between seven and ten laps to go, Kurt Busch, Alex Bowman, Ryan Blaney all were involved in a wreck. That took out Kurt Busch and Alex Bowman, two really good cars that probably had the best chance of winning. On a final restart, you had drivers like Denny Hamlin, Eric Almirola, Austin Dillon, Bubba Wallace Jr., and I believe Ryan Blaney was somewhere up in the mix there after he pitted and fixed his damage. On the white flag lap, coming off the backstretch and then going into turn three, Austin Dillon and Eric Almirola made contact with each other. Austin Dillon was on the back bumper of Eric Almirola, and as you know, the Camaro front bumpers are have a pointed angle, and that did not match up with Eric Amarillo's back bumper, and that ultimately sent Eric Amarillo into the outside wall, wrecking him and ruining his chances of winning the Daytona 500. Now, to be fair with Austin Dillon, Eric Amarillo did throw a block on him, but the only way Austin Dillon really had the best chance of getting around him was probably bumping him out of the way. Now, did he do it on accident? Probably not. I mean, it's the Daytona 500, He's trying to win a day 2500 championship, but then again, so is Eric Amarillo, and I just gotta feel sympathetic towards Eric Amarillo. They did what they had to do to try and win the race. Unfortunately, it didn't happen so well with Eric Amarillo, for he was he was taken out of the race. After all that, Austin Dillon went on to win his first day 2500, 20 years after Dale Earnhardt won his first. But anyways, I have no I have I have no problem with what happened at the end of that race. I think the Daytona 500 was, I think that was one of the better Daytona 500s I've ever seen. I don't think it was the best, but it was a really, really good race for what I saw out of it. Anyways, I'm going to move on to Atlanta. Atlanta, for those of you who don't know, it is a 1.5 mile racetrack. Past winners include Jimmy Johnson. He won the two of the last three races there. Brad Keselowski won last year. Casey Kane won in 2014. Uh, some notable drivers there to watch for are probably Martin Truex Jr., Kyle Larson, Kyle Busch, Kevin Harvick, Chase Elliott might be one to watch out for. Alex Bowman, he had speed at the Daytona 500. He had speed at Phoenix a few years back. Eric Jones did really, that was his second race in the Cup Series. He did really well. For, I think he got like a top 10 or a top 5. But yeah, that's Atlanta. I think the winner will be Martin Truex Jr. I'm not sure how many wins. He, I think he had 5 wins at mile and a half last year. Maybe 7. I'm not quite too sure. It was somewhere between 5 and 7. And I think he's just going to add another mile and a half win to uh, his resume. But yeah, I think this upcoming weekend at Atlanta will be a fun race to watch. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I have been working non-stop. Well, not, not, that's that's kind of hyper, hyperbolic. But I, I did work a lot on the championship race at Texas. 
So that will be up, like I said, in the, the championship finale promo. It'll be up this Saturday, February 24th, for those of you interested. I would, I would really love it if you guys went and checked out that video. Season 3, I don't know when I'm going to start it. I might start filming as soon as I'm done with the championship race. Which brings me to my next point with signups. I don't know when signups are going to be. On YouTube, there have been a few people who wanted to sign up that don't have Instagrams because I'm most likely going to do signups on Instagram. Signups will be in on Instagram. If you don't have an Instagram, let me know. I will try and get you a car. If I can't, then I'm, I'm sorry. I can't give everyone cars. The field will definitely be a lot smaller in Season 3. Uh, some drivers in Season 3. You have the regulars from 2017 and t now 2018. I'm probably going to put Bubba Wallace in the 43 Ford. Hey, it's me. Uh, my camera died, so now I'm going to finish recording on uh, this phone. Anyways, um, I'm going to wrap this up quickly. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe and leave a like. Even comment if you want. Um, I have uh, Facebook and Instagram and, and Twitter and another YouTube. Uh, I always put the links down in the, in the description below. So, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys next week when I talk about uh, the results of Atlanta and the upcoming weekend at uh, Las Vegas. So, see you then.